today we have another brunch video for you guys and we're taking you along to one of our favorite spots. It's one of my favorite Eggs Benedicts that I've ever had so I definitely had to show you guys. After eating at Button Up, you gotta unbutton. And of course, we didn't leave you guys hanging. We got something sweet too. You guys know me, sweet and savory gang, where you at? Aloha foodies and welcome back to Hawaii's best food vlog channel. And if you're new here, I'm Amanda and this is Felix and we are a locally born and raised couple here on Oahu and we're taking you guys along to all of our foodie adventures. And you guys really liked our previous brunch video. If you haven't caught that one, make sure you check it out, linked up in the cards above. But today we have another brunch video for you guys. And before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below because it's the easiest way to support us and help us out. And let's get into today's video. Let's go, because we're starving. Let's go guys. Third time, finally got through, guys. Button up cafe, how can I help you? Hi, can I please a takeout order, please? Yes, you can. We are out of potato hash, just to let you know. Okay. Can I do the um, the braised short rib eggs benedict? Okay, I'll do the corned beef hash then. The benedict? Um, just the, the plate, I guess. Um, you like the classic breakfast? Yeah, and then um, I'll do, do you guys still have the ube French toast? Yes, we do. Okay, I'll do that as well. Okay, and then give us like 20 minutes, okay? Okay, sounds good. Alright, thank you. Thank you. We'll see, we'll see Amanda when she gets here. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you, bye. Damn guys, they're out of the potato hash, but that's okay. No. Dang, I feel like I should have got potato tots, yeah? Yeah, I know, I realized that after. It's okay, we can always mix and match. And guys, this place is really good and it's known amongst locals, so yeah. As you can tell, she's speaking for real pigeons, so let's go. Alright guys, so like Amanda said, today we're doing a brunch special episode for you guys since you guys loved the first one so much. So we did Button Up Cafe. It's also another locally owned and run family restaurant. Very good, very hidden gem-ish. It's located right on Kamehameha Highway, Pearl City. Right before Waipahu, I guess. Or oh, actually it is in Waipahu. Yeah. yeah guys, we found a nice park to eat to and it is tier 3, so eating at the park is okay. There's a lot of other families finally being able to have their barbecues and picnics out. So that's always a good thing. So it's a nice sign and it's a lovely day. And what better way to complement a sunny day than to have eggs bene. Oh yeah. <laughs> Super excited to show you guys all the food we got. Like Hawaii fashion as usual, it's starting to drizzle, but we're gonna start eating cause we're so excited. This place is like Amanda said, one of our favorites. It's pretty low key. So I got the braised short rib eggs benedict and today they were out of their like country fried potatoes or as they call it, their potato hash. So I ended up getting some fried rice. And as you guys know, Hawaii is known for having local style fried rice. So had to get that. 
What'd you get? And I got the corned beef and hash. It looks a little more dry than normal, but we'll see. And I got it with over easy eggs and usually the country style potatoes, but they're out. So we got tater tots with that. Yeah, I feel like I should have got the tater tots instead, but we weren't really thinking when we ordered, but yeah. we'll just share anyway, so. Yeah, you guys know how we do, one of each. I mean, as long as Amanda doesn't finish it all. I've had this short rib before, and honestly, it's one of my favorite eggs benedicts that I've ever had. So I definitely had to show you guys. And yes, we are in the park, so there are bugs, which you guys know that I hate. But I'm going to try to power through this. Cheers. All right. Oh, short I lost ribs, the egg. Eggs Benny. Look how... Mm. How was that? As good as you remember? Mm. So good. And I love that they use like a huge thick piece of mm. short rib. And guys, this is very tender because it's braised and the flavor is so good. It's kind of like a Korean style that they say. Mm. Let's try the fried rice. It's Kalbi mm. short rib, Kalbi yeah. style short ribs, guys. It's a more fosse, but it's worth it. So meaty, sweet, some saltiness too, the hollandaise sauce to make it extra creamy. The eggs is not as runny as we wanted, but you know, it is like a 30 minute drive from town to here. So a little bit on the more done side, but yeah, so good guys, the flavors are all there. And look at this fried rice. There's even Portuguese sausage, huge pieces of bacon. This is the first time we're trying their fried rice, so. The fried rice is really good. Oh yeah. Definitely local style. I don't know if you guys have Portuguese sausage in the mainland, but here it's a really big thing. It's pretty much Portuguese style, like spicy sausage. Kind of like an Italian spicy sausage, but not really. And then here we eat it for breakfast. I don't yeah. know how to explain it. It's hard to explain because we just grew up eating it all our lives, you know? Portuguese sausage, local breakfast essential. And that hollandaise sauce, oh my goodness, guys, it's awesome. Mm. So pretty much their eggs and Benny are like the tried and true here. Can't go wrong with any. <laughs> we like the Calbi short ribs style eggs and Benny. They do have a Kalua pig one and I believe a original one. I really urge you, if you do ever come down this side and you guys want to get breakfast, if you're like, for example, going to like the Pearl Harbor, whatever, museum, memorial, this place is kind of near there. It may be like a 10 minute drive. So if you are in the area, definitely hit this place up. Oh. And also I want to say that they are not really open too late. They close at 1.30 every single day. So definitely have to go a little bit early. Or if you're going to go for lunch, definitely an earlier lunch. We definitely got to try that corned beef hash though. This is actually the first time I'm getting the corned beef hash here. Based on the pictures online, it looked a lot more meaty. I'm kind of a little surprised that there's only like a couple strips here. But hopefully the flavor makes up for it. I'm going to try without anything first. Just eggs, corned beef hash. Not bad, not bad. I kind of wish it had a little more peppercorn flavor though. Let me try a small piece. A little bit on the dry side. I'm not sure it's because we Whoa. came a little late. The flavor is definitely there, but the texture for the corned beef is kind of like jerky. <laughs> yeah, it's a little on the dry side, but maybe a little more peppercorn, a little more moist. They do have corned beef eggs Benny, like I mentioned earlier. Maybe that one is better. I just got the traditional breakfast plate. So two eggs of your choice meat which is, i got corned beef hash and a side which i got tater tots like i said i'm not sure how long this was um sat out for but the tater tots is a little more on the mushy side i'm confident it's pretty good when it's fresh now, unfortunately they're only doing takeout at the moment no dine-in guys so make sure you place your order ahead maybe not too ahead you don't want it sitting out too long Ooh, let me get this perfect bite right here that perfect bite right here. Get a little bit of ketchup on it. Mmm. Wow. Coke Zero Gang. Oh, well. Yeah, when you eat everything together, it's really good. Guys, this Eggs Benny, hands down, one of my favorite Eggs Benny. Oh, and also we were talking about the takeout situation. Honestly, I'm kind of happy that they're doing only takeout now because before, when we tried to go to this restaurant, it was always, always, always packed. You could never get a seat unless you waited like an hour or something. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm like speechless because this thing is so good. I'm not gonna lie, this Eggs Benny is awesome. It's amazing. Like just, just look at this bite, guys. 
how crazy moist and flavorful this looks. I kind of wish I just got the same thing. Mmm. This fried rice is good too. That was like an umami bite. Umami bomb. Guys, I kind of feel bad because my plate is literally so good. Mm. And I'm looking at his and I feel yeah. so bad. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, guys. This is not terrible. It's uh, what you would expect breakfast plate kind of deal, you know? You look at it, this ain't gonna win awards, but it will do its job. Fill that belly. Yeah, fried rice is pretty good. Like this fried rice, it's very reminiscent of like literally how any local family would make fried rice. So it tastes very homemade. They have some lunch specials too if you're more like a late late riser like us have ciabatta sandwiches they even have these like poutine fries which looked amazing but we wanted to kind of stick with the brunch theme you guys try it out let us know in the comments below how the poutine fries are because those look amazing as usual we'll link all the info of button up cafe in the description below check them out they do have an online website and of course we didn't leave you guys hanging we got something sweet too you guys know me, sweet and savory gang, where you at? So not only are they known for their eggs and Benny, man, their French toast is out of this world. It's not just any French toast, they're stuffed French toast. So they have many different flavors. They have like strawberry, coffee. They have a, yeah, they have like a tiramisu one, a strawberry one, I guess like a blueberry fruit one, filled with a lot of fruits. You guys are more uh, health conscious. But y'all know, we had to get the ube flavor one, guys. And this one, it's literally like a loaf of bread that they carved the middle, put the ube stuffing in there, and then served it up with whipped cream. And this is literally what put them on the map in the first place. So had to show it to you guys. Like I said, they're only doing takeout, but man, when they serve it at the restaurant, this thing is like the poster child for all French toast. I'm telling you guys, it's beautiful. But yeah, because it's, you know, contain whipped cream is all on the edges instead of like placed on top but man the presentation of this french toast in the store is honestly mind-blowing because they put it on top and it's so nice Ube, cheers mm. Mm. so good mm. oh yeah guys this is so good it's not too sweet either which i really like sometimes i feel like it could be a little too sweet when you get french toast mm, get some of the tartiness from the fruit mixed in there mm -mm -mm. Mm. Fork looking good. And another thing too is this thing is not dry. The bread is very moist. It has a good texture. Like I said, sweet and savory. Going back mm. to the savory now. Mm. 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 And the stuffing is kind of like a cheesecake kind of stuffing. Damn! This thing just like exploded when Amanda cut into it. I like that it's like sweet and a little bit tart. It's jam packed with that ube cheesecake filling. <laughs> Call this the triple decker bite. Egg, beef, top, mouth. Oh man. Mm. Well, because the rain cleared up too. An awesome day, guys. This is a lot of food. Mm -hmm. We needed Yvonne with us. <laughs> uh. We were gonna do an in-car review, but we found this park literally, literally like a block away from this button-up cafe. We had to stop by and it's such a nice day today. It's supposed to be really windy this afternoon or this weekend, but it's actually really nice. I mean, it is windy right now. No, but like it's supposed to be like strong wind advisory this weekend. But for now, it's not on this side of the island. So super happy we found this place. Mm. I know some of you folks probably have seen our previous video about us eating in the park in Kapiolani Park. Even though that was only like a few months ago, a lot has changed here in Hawaii. So now people are free to eat in the park. We're in tier three now. We have a different mayor. And another update. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, there's like, I thought it was a pineapple. It's like butter, I think, or whipped butter. It was hidden under all the fruits. Trying to get a strawberry with my bite here, and then I like unveiled a secret. Yeah, what is that? Oh my God, it's custard. Mm. You need that. God damn, guys. We're like halfway through the French toast before we realize there's custard. They even have custard on the side. Ooh, oh, that custard. Oh. That's good. Mmm. I could order this just for like as a dessert. Guys, this is our dessert for today. I like that it's sweet, it's tangy from that cheesecake flavor. It has like the creamy custard and the creamy whipped cream. Fresh strawberries, so yummy. 
It's so it's rainy. To drizzle again. Oh no! I think we jinxed it, guys. Every time we say it's a perfect, nice, sunny day, the weather starts attacking back. Oh, and guys, we did whip out the the tablecloth right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to bust out my hand-sewn tablecloth. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking where we got our tablecloth, and literally, it's just a scrap linen that we found at home. Literally, that's all. <laughs> um. It's cold. This too shall pass. <laughs> the dark clouds among us. I still feel lucky to live in Hawaii though. Oh damn, my plate was still open. Oh, and a lot of you folks have been asking us about like Hawaii weather and stuff. And honestly, when it rains like this, when it's not flooding or it's not like a flash flood warning or a hurricane warning or anything, just a little drizzle like this is honestly not bad. I personally kind of like when it rains because one, rain always brings rainbows and Hawaii rainbows are so gorgeous. And another thing, it brings waterfalls. So if it is raining, do not go hiking, fair warning. But it does bring waterfalls. So if you do like drive on the Pali towards Ko'olaus, you'll see the, the waterfalls, you know? Yeah, and when you're eating in the rain, it adds an extra flavoring <laughs> of the, the briny rainwater. <laughs> Mm. Ew, rainwater's not briny. Mmm, that local rain. Can't beat it. The and perfect seasoning to any meal. <laughs> and another thing about rain in Hawaii is a lot of times it can get really, really muggy here. And rain usually takes away the mugginess. So that's another reason why I really like rain. I mean, if you ask a lot of locals here, they don't really mind the rain. As long as it, like I said, it's not flooding or it's not a hurricane warning. We're good. We're, we're good, guys. We are good in the neighborhood. <laughs> I still have this whole, like, literally one whole thing of eggs Benny in here. I'm just getting so full. This time it might be him finishing everything. I feel like it's a thing, like, in Hawaii, when you're having, like, a beach barbecue, your family, and then it starts raining, and you're, like, already in the middle of eating, you're, like, you know, auntie, uncle, or mom, dad, be like, oh, hurry up, eat, 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 finish the food before the rain, you know, gets everything wet. So I guess, like, I don't know. It's like an innate action on my part. When it started raining, I just, like, mopped everything up. Oh, let me know. Is that what us locals do? Have you ever done that? No. Or if you're in the water and it starts raining, I know for sure you run back in. Oh, I don't. I stay in the water. Yeah. That's how you get sick, guys. Really? Yeah. Let the rain fall in the water. I mean, you're already in the water. Yeah, but the rain is cold. The water is warm, right? When you stand up, it's cold because all the wind and the elements. And then when so you. So why would warm, you get out? Run back to shore. Get a blanket. Warm yourself what? up. Get no a one towel. does that. Okay, when it's raining, you're supposed to stay in the water. You're not. Because if you get out of the water, it's guys, cold. Guys, guys, when it's raining and you're in the water, are you supposed to go to shore and get cover or stay in the water? Okay, I understand if you're saying if it's raining, don't go to the beach. But no, like, you're already in the water. That's what. Yeah, I'm so that's why you gotta get stay in the water. I don't know, guys. Let us know in the comments below. Well, it's one thing we can agree on. This damn eggs Benny is the jam right here. And the English muffin on the bottom, it soaked up all that braising liquid, so it's so filled with flavor. Mm. Guys, we're definitely gonna connect after this. It's like the corned beef gets the job done. That eggs Benny cowby short ribs finished the job. And this French toast made a new contract, finished it all on its own. <laughs> I don't get you. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar rush? I don't know. Just want to take a peek again. Oh, oh my goodness. Literally, man. that custard. Guys, if you watch our, this video. <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> Attack of the flies. That fly that just attacked, he was the lord of the flies. You guys try Button Up Cafe after watching this video. Do yourself a favor. Unearth the custard from all that fruit on top. Because there's a hidden special treat for you guys waiting. Oh man, slather that custard on there. So fail. How do we not know that's custard? After eating that button up, you gotta unbutton. Cause this thing is <laughs> filling. <laughs> it's that filling guys, it's good. The prices are pretty reasonable too. Are you gonna finish that? She's not gonna finish it guys. Gotta hurry before she changed her mind. And guys, if you plan on eating at the park or at the beach, 
make sure you throw away your trash. In Hawaii, we have a saying, it's called malama the aina. It pretty much means respect the land. So if you come to Hawaii and you see trash on the ground, or if you are the one bringing trash, just pick it up and throw it away, you know? Damn guys, that was a lot of awesome breakfast biz and a lot of Hawaiian drizz. Drizzle, I mean. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along with us on today's foodie adventure. We're so happy we could show you one of our favorite local brunch spots. And if you guys like this type of content, make sure you hit that big thumbs up. And of course, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, hit that subscribe button, why not? And we'll see you guys on the next video. All right guys, take it easy. Bye guys. <laughs>